Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in South Africa. Sunny, warm, everybody's out doing things. You might hear tap, tap, tap in the background. That's my neighbour doing some home, some DIY um, out in their garden. Uh, it's a fabulous afternoon here. Quite different over in the Northern Hemisphere. Remembrance Sunday today, a uh, very solemn ceremony led by King Charles and Prince William. You know, sign of the Harkles. Thanks be to God for that. Uh, they did release a rather pitiful photo of themselves at the Invictus Games in April. Uh, and nobody was fooled for one second by that. Anyway, we're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about King Charles today. It is his 74th birthday tomorrow. So I thought I would do a 12 card birthday reading uh, for King Charles and see how his year is going to go. His um, 74th year. Oops, cards are wanting to fall off the table again. Um, I do this. It's a 12 card reading. It's based on the astrological wheel the 12 houses uh, it's a very simple reading you can get a lot of information from it I highly recommend it if you want to look at someone's life uh, it's a nice um, it's a nice thing to do for people I often do it for my friends on their birthdays I uh, always pray that it's a good reading <laughs> otherwise that's the end of the friendship but I uh, know I'm just kidding um, but it's a, it's a it's a fabulous spread very straightforward and um, we're going to look and see how his year is going to go. He's had a big year, my goodness. And he is in for another big year because, of course, the coronation. I just have to check myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks right. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So he's had a big year and he's got an even bigger year coming up, possibly. He has got the coronation to get through. He has got um, the um, um, overseas tour that he's doing. Um, he's going and um, uh, visiting all the countries. Well, not all of them, but he's doing he's doing a lot of traveling next year. He's got a big uh, program of of tours lined up. I know Australia is uh, going to be receiving him and Camilla, and um, so. A lot going on. Hard for me to see these cards. I do apologise. Um, I have got a big plastic um, gimbal thing across the middle of my screen where I most need to see. I can't. So um, we have the underlying energy of this reading, the signifier for him, basically, not the underlying energy for, for right now. It's the Knight of Pentacles. Patience, a long journey, steady progress. Dog is having a good old bark outside. But it is this feeling of a slow but steady. Uh, I think that's what he's thinking. Not going to do anything radical, not going to do anything rash. Don't want to upset the apple cart. Just want to put one foot in front of the other. Just want to survive what I'm experiencing and make sure nothing goes too horribly wrong. Um, um, it's just be steady, a steady hand. And I think that's what people appreciate. That's what they want in the UK. Um, they don't want any wild and radical things going on. So it's a very positive card as a signifier for him in this year. Positive, um, traveling, uh, doing his duty, being diligent, being reliable, being stable, being disciplined, being sound. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic card. It is also just, by the way, the card that often shows up as Prince Harry. Um, so it could be on his mind. And we'll, we'll come to that in due course in this reading. So the first card of this 12 card reading, we start over here and we go around. The first card is public. Your public face, your public persona, your popularity really I want to know I have had a little chat with universe as I always do this not going to go very well sorry to see that card page of wands in reverse there might be some uh, some bad news that comes out and I wonder what it could be let's talk about Harry's book uh, possibly coming out and um, uh, souring things for him it's going to sour things. It definitely is. Page of Wands in reverse. Bad news, bad negative PR, negative publicity. He's going to have to get through that next year. He knows it. 
he looked very solemn. William in particular looked very, very dark, very bleak expression on his face uh, today. I, in the little glimpses I caught, I've been extremely busy um, rearranging my life and my house and all kinds of things. But uh, Prince William actually quite concerned me, the, the expression on his face. Um, so they know they're in for it. And so unfortunately for King Charles in his first year on the throne, he has got the brat to deal with. He is going to be writing some nasty things about him in the book and he's going to have to get through that. As people very often point out, Prince Charles himself wrote or collaborated on a rather unflattering book um, with John Nathan, uh, blah, 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 John Nathan Dimbledee. Uh, so mm, what goes around, you know, that that whole thing. But um, I feel some sympathy for Charles in this. And uh, so there it is, page of ones in reverse, some negative publicity. Um, so money, next card, values, second house, money, values, all that kind of stuff. Um, the chariot in reverse. Uh, I'm I specifically wanted to know about money. The second house represents all kinds of things. They all do. Uh, but because we're in this cost of living crisis that people go on about. Um, and so I think that the programs and things that he would like to push forward with, and that's just, by the way, the Prince William card, Cancerian and also Camilla, um, big spending projects, big uh, glitzy things, uh, possibly even the coronation, uh, very much signified by the chariot. It is a procession. It's, you know, bring out all the, the, the carriages and the horses and everything in reverse, scaling back. I think that they're really going to be frugal and be seen to be frugal. Um, can't be going on private jets. Um, any trips that he takes, he's going to be catching the train. He's going to be traveling on regular um, scheduled um, air, air uh, you know, flights rather than private things. Um, it, it's going to be very publicly um, living frugally. Um, and uh, that for me is, is in, to for, in terms of ceremonies and things like that, uh, definitely the coronation scaling down, which might disappoint some people, might be part of this negative, um, this page of wands in reverse. They were hoping for all the bells and whistles um, and they're not going to get it. I don't think he's that kind of person. I think it, it, in his nature, not to be very... Um, uh, to splash the cash. He, he, he does want money for his charities. We're clear about that. We know about that. Oh, and let's remind you, just by the way, tarot reading, entertainment purposes, or just opinion, my opinion, and uh, disclaimer in the box below. Um, but I don't think he, in his, in his, his own life, is particularly lavish. Uh, that is my personal opinion. You might have heard differently, and if you have, please do let us all know. Third house is siblings, and oh dear, we have Andrew. Andrew trying to stage a comeback because, of course, Virginia Roberts uh, misremembered, just like Meghan Markle. <laughs> she misremembered the whole Alan Dershowitz thing. Good Lord. So um, Andrew has is clutching at this as a hope, a sign of hope. We get a page of pentacles in reverse. We're getting uh, a, a, a more negative communication, negative PR. Um problems with that page of pentacles um problems with with prince andrew and money um deals that he's made payouts that have been made things that he might want uh, there's more than just the virginia roberts thing with andrew there were scandals around his time at the foreign office um touting for business for the royals i don't want to go on about it i know it upsets people um but there it is it doesn't look positive it looks like uh, charles has got his work cut out dealing with um harry over here and andrew over here but it, it's small it's not massive problems if it was the tower i think oh no um run for cover everyone but this is just a niggle this is just somebody who has been erratic and unstable and profligate and um, unreliable and wanting to come back in. And uh, Charles has dealt with it pretty brutally for him uh, in the recent past. Uh, it's on my list of readings to do, telling Prince Andrew that no, there is no way back, uh, but it's going to be a niggle. Home, domestic life, all those castles, palaces, things. What's going to be going on here? We get the Seven of Cups in the reverse uh, a cold hard reality um uh, for him of having to deal with all this stuff i think 
you know, when he was dreaming, daydreaming for 73 years, it was, oh, when I'm king, I can do this. I can do that with that palace. Um, he's very into his art. He's very into preserving things for posterity. And I admire him for that. I admire him for wanting to save all the beautiful things and keep all the beautiful things and keep them beautiful. But I think that Seven of Cups in reverse is telling me that he's not going to have the funds that he wants to do the things that he wants. And possibly a lot of those dreams and schemes and plans are just not practical. Uh, when the Seven of Cups is upright, it's, oh, I can do this. I can dream about that. Or, oh, possibly we could try that. But no, no. Nah. Uh, no, sorry, meetings, no, that's not going to happen. That's not going to fly. People will be annoyed. Uh, people who can't afford to pay their heating bills through the winter aren't going to uh, um, look kindly on you when you um, say you want to do whatever. I can't imagine because but at heart I'm a peasant. I don't have um, any desire to live in a palace and have to look after great works of art and things like that. I want to admire them, don't want to be responsible for them. But he is. And it's going to be quite tough, I would say. And he's going to have to make quite difficult choices. Um, a meeting with people who are going to just say no. Accountant type people, I would say. Next card, fifth house. Uh, I have specified with the fifth house, which covers many things as well. Children, Harry. And uh, what's going to be going on? Ooh, judgment. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's going to have to make some decisions about Harry in the year coming. Decisions about titles, about line of succession because of the dodgy stories, the backstories around children. Um, he's going to have to. He's going to have to uh, blow that trumpet or someone's going to blow that trumpet and everyone is going to rise up and be judged and answer for what they have been doing. Harry is going to have to answer for what he has been doing and it might be quite difficult. It's upright, so it's not terrible, but it is a kind of a wake-up call. Charles himself is having a wake-up call here on the home front and I specified palaces and things, but the home front is home and family. So we've got twice now. There is a wake-up call. There is cold hard truth. There is... Um, what are you going to do about this now? Yeah, you've dilly-dallied for long enough. Now you've got to deal with it. And you've got to deal with it because the book's come out. And whatever is going on in the marriage uh, over in Montecito, uh, still, uh, it's, it's damaged. It's going to damage King Charles. It's with the page of wands in reverse. It's definitely going to damage him. And he is going to have to make decisions. And he is going to have to uh, basically say, if you want to come back, because the judgment card is the second coming. It's a return, uh, one of its many meanings. Um, you're going to have to answer. You're going to have to answer. It's a very powerful card. There's a very powerful um, a cross there in the card, which I will always see when I read this card in the royal context. Um, there are... Uh, there are there are, are bills to be paid. There are there are things to be. Uh, you have to be held account to account for what you have done. And this is a big deal because it's a major arcana that's come out here. Uh, big deal over here with money, the chariot in reverse. Big deal over here with Harry and having to sort him out, having to decide, having to make some quite hard decisions about Harry. I knew it wasn't going to be an easy year. It does, so far, it's not catastrophic. It's tricky. It's tricky. Hark all years ahead that I've done consistently are catastrophic. This is just difficult. Um, having to be aware of the world, the circumstances, the financial circumstances, and the fact that this brat of a son, in my opinion, has got himself into trouble with the British public. Uh, very much so. So health. We're going to scale down the sixth house to health. And uh, the fool in reverse. He's got health problems. Fool in reverse, upright, very carefree. Off I go. Um, the, I, I can set off on any adventure I like and uh, do whatever I like and be unscathed, basically, but deluded. The fool. He is aware that he has got um, issues, that he doesn't have much time. Uh, I'm sorry to say that. It's the first thing that came to my mind when I saw that card. He doesn't have much time. He doesn't have endless adventures ahead of him. 
Uh, the Fool is the start of the major arcana. There are endless adventures ahead of the Fool when it comes out upright. When it comes out in reverse, there are not endless adventures ahead. Now, I've got to be careful about not doing anything rash, anything reckless, anything foolhardy. And uh, be aware that you're not on a new beginning. You're, you're in the same cycle with the fool in reverse and the same cycle is drawing to an end. Doesn't mean he's going to kill over in the next six months. Um, sorry, that was a bit crass. But um, it means that he is aware that he's got to be careful. He has got to be extremely careful. The fool in reverse is reckless. He can't afford to be reckless. He can't afford to be rash. He can't afford to take chances and take uh, risks with his health. Um, so it, it's, it's a concern. It's definitely a concern. Uh, marriage. How is marriage going to go? Partnership with Camilla. There she is, the Queen of Cups. Very supportive. She is going to be doing her best to help him, to encourage him, to nurture him, to uh, be kind and warm-hearted and loyal and supportive. All the lovely things that the Queen of Cups represents. We don't often see the Queen of Cups in our readings in a positive light um, because of who we are reading on. But here we can see the Queen of Cups in a very positive light and a very sensitive, um, nurturing. Uh, she feels they're both water signs. It's very emotional. She gets him emotionally and she's able to give him that support that he needs to make the jokes. Cancerians are very funny when they are in good form and in good spirits. She makes him laugh. Um, she loves him, uh, whatever his foibles and his faults. She is here in her, um, in her best, best self, regardless of what's going on with books and nonsense and uh, Harry and all the rest of it. This is a lovely card to see. This is this is comfortable and happy. He's at least there in his that relationship. He's he is um, he's looked after. I'm pleased to see that card. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just checking. Um, eight is the Scorpio card. It's the the power and the transformation and death card. Uh, I'm thinking particularly about power how he's handling power, but also how he's grieving, how he's dealing with the losses that he has suffered. He is uh, eight of cups in reverse. He's, he's processing his grief. He is processing his grief. He is still grieving. Eight of cups upright, moving on, putting it behind you. It's been tough. It's been grim. It's been heartbreaking, but moving on. The card has come out in the reverse. He is still grieving. He's still suffering. You can see it. You saw it particularly today. Fluffy has arrived to scratch the furniture. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> and uh, so he is still, he's, he's still very, very heart sore. Uh, it has taken a long time um, to get over the loss of a parent. It, uh, not a matter of months, definitely not. So um, I feel for him. Uh, yeah, he's he's grieving. Uh, that's the, the answer that it wanted to give me. Power, I don't think it's a big deal for him. I don't think he's a power hungry person. Um, so it hasn't gone to his head. It hadn't made him, made him crazy with, um, I can, you know, become king of the world kind of thing. Um, not that at all. Grieving. Normal. Um, ninth house, uh, many things. Also, it represents international travel being one of them. He is going to be doing international travel. Supposed to be, but we got the world in reverse, which tells me it might not. Uh, that's the first big wow card for me in this reading. Um, the world in reverse. Uh, not a successful completion of something. Not going out in public. Not, um, not doing that grand tour that he's supposed to be doing. It might be that his health or Camilla's health gets in the way of it and that they have to send William and Catherine instead. Um, it could all just be too much. In which case, uh, wow, um, they're, they're worrying. It's a worrying card for me, the world in reverse, very much so. He has got plans, but he is not going to see them through, not in the way that he wants to. Uh, with the world literally going and seeing the world. I don't know what's going to be going on in the world. It could be that something else is going on strange. I mean, we've had a strange few years with the pandemic. No one saw that coming. Well, a few people did. Um, but it could be that there are circumstances in the world that prevent him from traveling for some reason. That's got nothing to do with his own health. I hope 
that that is not the case. I'm sorry to say, King Charles, I'd rather your health kept you at home than World War Three kept you at home. Uh, just saying. Not saying that to cause panic uh, as you're watching this. I'm not saying it because I feel it. I don't feel it. I don't feel that that is what the card is telling us at all. I don't think we're heading that way. Personal opinion. So, but uh, it's a bit of a huh when I see that card. How is he handling, we're on to the 10th house now, how is he handling being king, being head of state? How is that going to go in the year ahead uh, for him? Uh, all fine. Knight of Wands, uh, a positive, enthusiastic, he's enjoying it. He's enjoying it. He's going to enjoy getting out and about. Uh, this is a travel card as well, just by the way, the Knight of Wands, international travel card. Um, he is... Um, interrupted by going back to the world card could be that some of the places he wants to go to are no sorry we're going to be independent and we're going to be republics now so don't bother to visit us that could be that could be it's, it's been talked about William and Catherine had their problems when they went to the Caribbean it could be that kind of a vibe just saying uh, because Knight of Wands is telling me there is travel in the year ahead international travel knight of wands very much is uh traveling far and wide enthusiastically um so he's not uh wanting to be um retreat from the public gaze and um uh, it's all too much from him for him it's not all too much for him he's enthusiastic about it he's optimistic he's popular knight of wands uh people are, are pleased to see him oh there he is um uh, it's an energizing kind of a card it's uh busy it's leadership, it's creativity, it's, it's in he comes, a smile on his face, lifts everyone up and then off he goes. So there's that energy. So um, reading back, as I say, it puts a bit of a spin on that that I, I didn't think of when I first saw that card. So I'm somewhat less concerned about that card than I was when I first saw it. Um, how about his own personal dreams? His goals, his, um, you know, his love of architecture and green stuff and all the rest of it. How's that going to go now that he's got to be king and he can't go to cop whatever number it is and he had to stay at home? Still, he's he's passionate about the things that he believes in and he wants to do. He has lots of dreams still. He's got lots of things he wants to do with that ace of wands. Lots of projects that he wants to see through to start um, lots of stuff. Money is going to be an issue that stops some of those projects. Um, but he, he still has his dreams, his beliefs, his things. I'm sure he's keeping everyone busy um, reading papers, doing research, drafting things. Uh, this is what he wants to achieve. While he has got the gig, he knows that he doesn't have 20 or 30 years. I don't think. I think he's pretty well aware of that. Um, but he's passionate about things still. He's got lots of plans. Also a very positive card. Happy to see it. There he is uh, in his kingly, um, um, what's the word, uh, mode, going around with that wand, spreading the news of the things that he's passionate about. So he's not going to be silenced. He's not going to be um, held back and prevented from doing things that he feels passionate about, which is good. Um, Finally, just hidden things. That's a subconscious. That's some mental health sometimes. I don't think he's got mental health problems. Um, it's what's hidden that you possibly don't want to come to the surface. Anything like that that could be troubling him. Secrets, um, issues, children in the past. Interesting card to come up. Something about children. And I don't think it's his children in his past that uh, are kind of haunting him. I think it's someone else's children and their past judgment. I said he would have to be answerable. He would have to be held to account, Harry, for what he has done if he wants to return. And that card for me is talking to me about what has happened in the past to his children, not Charles's children. That's my interpretation of this card, my opinion very much so. Um, so, a couple of interesting cards in here. Not a bad year, not a catastrophic year. Got some things to deal with, but he'll get through it. 
and he'll get through it in an enthusiastic way and um, still believing what uh, in, in, in the role, in the, the usefulness of the role and in the usefulness of his own self, uh, the purpose that he feels, uh, that he's got things to accomplish that he can best accomplish before it gets handed over to the next in line. That is the reading. Happy birthday, King Charles. And uh, lots of love to all of you. I will try and see you tomorrow. I'm a little busy tomorrow and the next couple of days. Uh, it is my birthday on Tuesday. I have some things to get through tomorrow. Book club. <laughs> and um, so I might not show up in the next couple of days. I'll do my best to. But uh, wishing you all well and thanking you as ever for your support. And I will see you when I can see you.